But the fact that you can see the similarities on Earth and the similarities similarities with, with what looks like potentially, you know, collapsed structures on Mars, it tells you there's one architect or one architectural plan. What? To do that and to even do that rim on a, on, on stone that solid and that hard. Right. You need a very special type of tool. No, you don't. We would need a large, giant um, diamond bit. No, you do not. Whatever they used was way more sophisticated than what we have. Mm -hmm. On the surface, it's easy to look at this vase and say they needed something harder than this rock to shape it. Let me ask you this. What if they just used the same type of rock to shape the rock? What if they just did that? Like, what if they just used the rock to smash and cut the rock away and then shape it more fine afterwards? Yeah, it takes time, but who says they didn't want to put the time in to make this? Like, what? Right. To, to be able to do that without breaking that is right. so incredibly difficult to do. Yeah. I do agree. That would be incredibly difficult, but not impossible. So yeah, Billy Carson talks about Adam's Calendar, a site that I'm actually a big fan of located in South Africa. And I watched this video of this guy going over and talking to these tourists about it. And he said that it's possibly around 60,000 years old, which is believable. It is believable. Let's listen to Billy Carson. They encircle the camp of the god, which is Anu, the head, the head uh, of the Anunnaki at that time. And they get ready to do war. And Anki and Lil and Anu come outside. They get their guards out there. Everything is tense. And they say, look, man, we're tired of doing this labor. And, uh, you know, we need a break. That's Adam's calendar there in Africa, where one of the oldest gold mines was discovered. <clears throat> the one in the middle is Adam's calendar. There we go. 75,000 years to 60,000 years. The one in the middle is Adam's calendar and also the one below the middle. Not the one on the right, not the one on the left, not the one at the bottom. And it dates back to 200,000 years. Isn't that interesting? Really? Yes. <laughs> really? Bro, on the thumbnail, it says, like literally on this picture by a website called The Archaeologist, it says 75,000 years. Bro, what are you saying? Where did you get that 200,000 figure from? This is the thing with Billy Carson. Well, he claims the Sumerian tablets, which gives him these dates or whatever the fuck. I don't know where he gets these dates from. And then he will just paste it around with what dog? This guy will tie the loosest ends together and make it fit. But... What's interesting is, is that these people, you know, these Anunnaki people, they said, okay, well. Oh, look, you just ignore the whole site of Adam's calendar and you talk and you keep on talking bullshit. Sorry. And you keep on talking. If you claim that these people were at this site 200,000 years ago, give, give us like what? something tangible, please. If you take a, a, a horse and a donkey, you get a mule, but mules can't reproduce. Is that true? For real? Yeah. <laughs> 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 is that factual though i'm gonna google that right now as well as through embryo transfer okay because they only have 63 chromosomes intermediate between the 64 of the horse and the 62 of the donkey i see i see i see so that problems are reproducing well done billy carson well done did you know this steve <laughs> No, I didn't know that at all. I thought yeah. if it if you can make a thing, then they can make other yeah, things. Yeah, I thought that's... I thought if you can make a thing, then it can make other things. <laughs> how I thought that's how, like, like um, breeding shit. Like, that's how they made the golden retriever. <laughs> I thought that's how I made a golden retriever. So he talks about getting this procedure, getting his balance back, and... And, and how he doesn't have like a hole at the back of his head anymore, basically. And because, you know, it got full in, right? And Danico makes a joke that, yeah, it's like upgrading an iPhone or something or repairing a machine or whatever she says. He, his expression changes so fast from just laughing to, to the serious face that you see now. Just, just watch. Uh, perfectly normal now. They filled in. Huh. That's a miracle. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you just uh, got a computer upgrade. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Can we watch it again? Nah, let's replay that. Let's replay that, please. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he probably doesn't even mean to do it, but it's just funny though. So he says something interesting here. Give it a listen. It has electrons orbiting it, and those electrons can make conscious decisions based on observation. We know this because of the double slit experiment in quantum physics. Mm -hmm. So because every atom is conscious, 
That means that everything made of atoms is conscious. So this whole universe is one entity. He says, if every atom is conscious, that means everything made of atoms is conscious. I found it interesting. The gospel of the Holy 12, which was left out of the Bible, has the answer. He goes to Egypt. I've been there. If you go to Coptic Cairo, you can go to the house where Jesus and his mother lived in there in, in, in that area. And it's become it's be, they they turned it into like a crypt now. So you can go there, you can, you know, see where the, the bed he slept in and everything. It's still there. You know, I'm thinking, did this man get told that this is Jesus' bed? Like, did this guy just get fed a big story and he's putting shit together that's that's not even like concrete? It's just like a lot of stories put put together. I'm curious because who told him that? It's just funny to think that this guy got duped into paying. And not only him, but his entire tour group got duped into paying to see Jesus' bed. You feel me? And that's what I feel like his whole thing is. I feel like he's doing a grift. Like, I'm just being honest. I feel like this guy's grifting to the absolute maximum. It creates physiostatic electricity. Those ions would get pushed up into the uh, Grand Gallery, and they had used to have resonating rods in the slots going up the Grand Gallery. It is not confirmed that those were resonating rods that were inserted in the, in the Grand Gallery. That is not confirmed whatsoever. When it got to the King's Chamber, some other type of you know fusion would happen, and it would then send the energy up through the apex, and the apex, which is now missing, would then transmit it out wirelessly to the obelisk, which then, which then collect this ambient electricity. And if you had a jet, you can pick up this ambient wireless electricity. You can see the jet connected to light bulbs and so forth, like a Nandera. The one, the jet has the three or four bars on it. Exactly, brother. Obel dog, you dog. So Billy Carson is taking all these symbolic things, all these things that the Egyptians worked so hard on for religious purposes, I would assume, right? Dog, and putting our modern lens on it, it's not, it doesn't work. That's not how it works, bro. God, the obelisks were not used to receive electricity. The jet pillars were not used to spread the electricity and the pyramid was not used to generate or create electricity. That's just not what happened, bro. I'm sorry to say it perfect location to put it in the king's chamber to send the energy through the apex so they can keep the wireless wireless energy going Free so energy. Like not in, yeah i love how they show the panning shot of egypt like if the egyptians could hear what billy carson was theorizing about what these structures and things were used for they would laugh bro. I, I bet right exactly i ended up getting a feeling when i was there that um it felt like where they used to practice magic what we would call magic now. Yeah, he would just agree that, yeah, that's magic. They No, they did. No, no, they did. They did. They, yeah, and, and I visited the exact altars where they performed magic spell. Obviously, I'm capping, but I can't take any more of this, bro. I can't take any more of this. My next video is going to be on Ben from Uncharted X, bro. Stay tuned for that shit. Billy Carson, this is my first video on him, and I'm definitely going to have a different one on him because I want to do more research into what he's saying instead of just saying i don't believe this shit that he's saying because it sounds so out there and i feel like he just puts all sorts of different stories from around the world and he takes the loose ends from all of those stories and ties it together and creates the story to then sell these tours to egypt anyway guys thank you so much for watching like subscribe share if you enjoyed this video if you found any value in it if you didn't enjoy the video then fuck i hope you still found some entertainment out of this video have a good one thank you so much for watching also turn on notifications because i'm uploading daily and she be one of the first people to view the video comment leave your opinion i can reply you know what it is we can get the discussion going in the comments thank you so much for watching have a good rest of your day bye bye